What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to the very first episode of our Pokemon Stadium walkthrough. Yes, we're finally doing this, guys. After how many people have called me or anything like that, yes, it is finally time for us to do some Pokemon Stadium, and I don't know why that is happening. But, we're going to be going right here, straight into Pokemon Stadium. Now, many of you guys have been thinking... Oh, great. Here we go again. We're going to be going to the Gym Leader Castle because, well, you know, Draven keeps on restarting. No, that is not true. We're actually going to be starting off into the Pokemon Stadium where there are tournaments held right here. And, uh, well, as you guys can see, we got four different kinds of, uh, four different kinds of, uh, of, uh, tournaments right here. Starting off with the Petite Cup, where a tournament with any cute Pokemon, but don't let your guard down, you will be tested. Then you got the Poke Cup, the official Pokemon League tournament. Hone your skills and become the champ. Then you got the P the Pika Cup, where this is where from the lowest level Pokemon, but the strategy is the key. And then finally, the Prime Cup, which is the ultimate tournament without level restrictions. Let it all hang out. So, I've been thinking it over, guys. Um, the first episode, or the first, you know, for the first round of, you know, tournaments... I'm going to be using some rental Pokemon because, well, I kind of want to make it fun for all of you guys. And yeah, we're going to be starting off with the Poke Cup right here. As you guys can see, there are four levels to this whole tournament right here. The Poke Ball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball, and of course the Master Ball. We're going to start it off right here with some, you know, with some, uh, what was it called? Uh, some rental Pokemon. And from there, we're going to be using some of our Pokemon that we actually gained from Pokemon Yell and all that stuff. Now... The rules are simple right here in the Poke Cup. Blue panels, qualifying Pokemon, 149 total. Enter six Pokemon, choose three out of the six. The Pokemon levels can range from 50 to 55. The maximum level of the three Pokemon has to total 155. And there are no two Pokemon asleep or frozen. You can't attend and you can get an att a continue for every perfect match you get, and there is no self-destruct uh, the last move. So, let's go right ahead and pick out six good Pokemon right here. As I said before, we're going to be using rentals first, and then we're going to be going on to, you know, our regular Pokemon. Now, here's something that I've noticed playing this, uh, playing this game back in the past. The fully evolved Pokemon right here don't necessarily have... Uh, the best moves as you guys can see let's let's just show for for this one right here Machamp It is a fully evolved Pokemon Has focus energy counter low kick and strength to me. That's ridiculous But yet Machoke here has focus energy rock slide submission and strength three of the best moves that you can ever find So they're literally trying to test you in what kind of moves you can actually use for these Pokemon right here this is the reason to why I decided that, you know what, first episode we're going to go with rentals, test, hone our, our skills, and then after that we're going to go straight into the nitty gritty, and that is, you know, picking out, you know, our Pokemon, using the right stuff, because, well, of course, we could use our Pokemon, we know what moves it has, we know we could dictate everything, so, what's going to happen right now, guys, I'm going to go off screen, pick out a Pokemon team, and then I'm going to be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so here we are with... Six Pokemon that I feel that are comfortable and the majority of them are like the Pokemon I use on my team and all that stuff So we're gonna start off with these guys just because of whatever attacks they have and we're gonna start off with the Pokeball battle number one and this guy right here has a well, It looks like his disadvantage is going to be very easy right here. So let's go right ahead and Choose the right Pokemon for this whole thing right here. So here we go. Take it on well, you can hear the the, the, the song right here. Well, let's go ahead and take on this biker. And he does not have a very good team. But going into the next few battles, guys, it's going to get progressively harder. You're going to be a little bit more strategic. Especially, like, you know, if you're going into the Pika Cup or the Petite Cup and all that stuff. Trust me. I did my little testing and all that stuff. And, oh, my God, it is one difficult thing after another. So, for every single game that, well, for every single, uh, whatchamacallit, um, tournament I do right here, I'm probably going to be more strategic with the Pokemon I come out with because I literally tried my hand onto the Pika Cup and it really, it wrecked me. Like, I got cocky in the very first episodes, but then after that, I got messed up towards the very end, like the second to last battle. So, 
And that's probably what's going to happen. Another thing too, guys. Yes, this walkthrough will be every single weekend. So just keep an eye out for that. That way you guys can have some kind of form of entertainment uh, from my channel right here. And, well, this guy... He's coming out with a Hitmon League. So, yeah, obviously the very first battle has always got to be the easiest one right here. So, just be aware of that. So, here comes Alakazam with the sweep. And there you go. Alakazam has been defeated. Oh, my God. It kind of makes you want to use dual-type Pokemon right here. Yes, Alakazam is broken. Hell, Mewtwo and Mew are both broken because you could teach it anything. And... Well, we get a perfect, meaning we get one continue. And this one right here will enable us to go straight into the Cascade Badge. So we're going to be going in here. And let's see what's the next one. And just like that, we found our weakness towards these guys right here. So let's see. Let's go with that. So much, it's so much easier to use these Pokemon rather than anything. Now, I think in other tournaments too, you will be potentially seeing some Pokemon at like at least at level 55 or above, or in like, for instance, the Pika Cup, you know, level level 20, because I think the maximum level is 20. So yeah, you guys are gonna be seeing a lot of different stuff coming out right here. And look at this, a critical hit. PKs has been defeated. <laughs> oh my God. This is a wild one. Yes, it's a wild up. one. It is a wild one. Gotta love the announcer. So here comes Bulbase. And I think because of its poison typing, it will be susceptible to this earthquake attack right here. So let's go right ahead and see. If not, I do have some Pokemon for coverage right here. And this one almost defeats Bulbasaur. And here comes a Leech Seed, which, of course will drain us of our energy. Yeah, I kind of I kind of question these attacks every single time. So let's go right ahead and use another earthquake attack. And here we go, earthquake for the win. And just like that, Bulbase has been defeated. It's down and out, homeboy. Down and out. Okay, so who's the next one? And let's see. Taking on a Magnemite and I do want to say that Earthquake still works right here since it's Gen 1. Let's see if it changes. And here we go. Earthquake does work on floating Pokemon. So there we go, guys. We get another sweep from Nidoking. And again, don't get too cocky right here because the first two, three battles are always easy. And the next thing you know, it just progresses from there. So just be strategic with what you do right here, guys. And well, there we go. Get another perfect. The computer is like, ah, so you're thinking you're uh, you're going to beat me like that. Probably. Okay, so let's continue on to the Thunder Badge right here. And we're going to be taking on a Juggler. And his Pokemon are going to be weak against Psychic. So let's go right ahead and use these suckers right here. Now, the messed up part, which we all got into, like, which we all, you know, had a debate about is... You know, ghost type, the ghost type of Gen 1 always being weak against Psychic type. That was one of the biggest, you know, letdowns going into Gen 1 because, well, you know, ghost types are supposed to be stronger than, than Psychic types. That wasn't the case right here. And that right there takes a, takes care of Macho. <laughs> And you gotta love the you gotta love this love the nicknames these guys give their the Pokemon. It's kind of weird. Like one is like Ma minus Choke or Ma Choke. I, I get it. So here we have Drowsy, and this one is going to prevent him from doing anything. So let's go right ahead and go with a, a Tri Attack. And again, speed is everything in this one right here, guys. And Drowsy is uh, not having it right now. So here comes a Hypnosis. And that puts us to sleep. So this guy's probably going to go for his Dream Eater. So let's go ahead and waste a few turns. I'm not... Yeah, I'm not... Yeah, I'm not complaining about this right now because, you know, Dream Eater is a Psychic type attack. So it's just going to nullify just a tad. And there we go. And yes. So we might be asleep for five turns right here. So let's go ahead and go for another Disable. Come on, baby. Wake up. 
And still asleep. Holy crap. Okay, so here comes another Dream Eater attack. Yeah, this drowsy right here is uh, getting some free lunches right now. And let's go. Come on. Disable. Wake up. Wake up, Alakazam. Come on. Alrighty. So just like that, Dream Eater fails. And well, let's see. Let's see. Let's take a risk with Metronome and see what that happens. So here we have a bubble. This might lower its speed just a tad. Yes, it does. But it doesn't do anything with its HP right here. So yeah, we're letting we're allowing this drowsy to put us to sleep right here. And of course we go back to sleep. Oh my god, okay. Come on, Alakazam. I know you have to sleep for like 20 hours a day. And here comes a dream a dream eater again. Oh my god, where is the physicality? And this one is a critical hit. Good gravy. Come on, wake up, man. And here we go. We are awake. It kind of it kind of gets me a little mad that we can't use the same attack right there and then after we wake up. So it's just uh Okay, so let's go right ahead and disable its hypnosis. Hopefully it does. This one right here is going to be all random. And hypnosis has been disabled. Okay. So now you can't use it, its attack right here. Let's go with a try attack. I do not trust this whole freaking <laughs> this metronome. And yes, we're getting we're getting it hit right here. Of course, Drowsy is a little a little um, it's a little bulky when it comes to special attacks right here. So yeah, we're gonna get hit quite a few times. Let's go with metronome. If it's using metronome, I'm using metronome right here. You serious? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! What's this? A minor hit. A minor hit. Okay, so we're not gonna risk it. Let's go straight for Charizard right here because it it can't be the Pokemon to actually beat this guy. Ugh, god, I hate this game. I really do. All right, here we go, Charizard. How's it going? And here comes a Scratch attack. Minor hits. There we go. All right. Time to unleash. Time to unleash hell right here. Let's go with a fire blast. Come on, hit it. Fire blast for the win. And that was a critical hit. So eat it, Drowsy. Eat it. That's right. Okay. So that right there takes care of Drowsy. And well, let's see what we got. Going up against uh, Clefairy right here. Oh, Clefairy. So, Clefairy can't put us to sleep. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. Let's go for a Swords Dance to boost up our attack. I kind of have a little strategy going right here. So, a Swords Dance right here. Physical attack is going to go up. And this guy is going to go for a Whirlwind. I don't know if that's going to actually work. And it doesn't. Okay. Fireworks are flying in this swords Dance again. Try not to be cocky, but I kind of want to use it just to make sure I buff up its attack. And let's see. Here comes a strength attack. And thankfully it's not a move that paralyzes us or anything because we all know how Draven is the king of paralysis. So let's go straight for a fire blast. Come on. Finish it. And that hits it. Nearly defeats uh, Clefairy, and here comes a Sing attack right here. Oh, thankful. Okay, thankfully it is it is not working. So let's go ahead and go for a Fly attack right here. It's probably the move that we should have gone for. So here goes Fly attack, and Sonic Boom would have automatically taken 20 points away from us right there. Okay, come on, let's go Charizard. Let's do it. And there we go. Clefairy has been defeated. And I think that's its third Pokemon right there. And just like that, we win again. Throwing out that peace sign. Oh, my God. 
So yeah, we, we went through a ringer right here. So we got in our, ourselves another perfect. And like I said before, guys, don't get too cocky because, you know, it does get... It eventually gets uh, like a little bit difficult afterwards. Alright, so here we have Foggy Battle number four. And we are taking on a nice array of teams right here. Holy crap. Okay, so it's got us off a Horsey, Starmie, or Star You, I should say, Shelter, Kabutops, Q Bone, and uh, Rhyhorn. So they're all weak to grass type moves. Let's see. Let's see if we can go with this. And I don't want to use that guy, so let's go straight for this guy right here. Alrighty, here we go. The crowd excitement is going. And here we have Rhyhorn. I don't think it has a move that can actually hit us. So what we're gonna do is gonna put it we're gonna put this guy to sleep. That way it's a lot easier for us to just hit it multiple times. Knowing my luck, it's gonna wake up like right here and there. Yep, it's asleep. Okay. So let's go right ahead. Let's go ahead and switch up our Pokemon right here. I mean, I want to conserve my best Pokemon right here. Alrighty. Let's see what we got. Gyarados. Alright, Gyarados. And still asleep. Okay, so this actually works out in our favor right here. Let's go with a Surf Attack. Mm-hmm. Surf Attack for the win. And this one will hit it pretty hard. And there goes Rhyhorn. Okay, alrighty. <laughs> what will the next Pokemon be? It will be a Pokemon that will mess us up right here. So, here comes a Shelder. And this guy does have a weakness to I or to electric type Pokemon. So, let's see. Okay, so I am going to go for Electabuzz right here just to make sure that I don't lose any of my Pokemon right here. So we're switching it up. Now, again, like I was saying, guys, using rental Pokemon, it's kind of a messed up situation because, again, the pre-evolved form of the Pokemon right here, or a Pokemon line, they usually have the better moves than their, you know, their evolved forms. It's really messed up, but if you have your own, you're going to you're gonna have whatever move it has. You're going to have a move whatever you want it to, to have and all that stuff. And, well, here we go. Thunder Punch. That is that. Alrighty, so Shelter has been defeated. And. Yeah, a number of reserve Pokemon right here. And here we go, taking on a Kabuti. Kabuti. That kind of sounds like Kabuti. This Pokemon is a Rock type 2. So let's go right ahead and beat it with Psychic type attacks right here. Okay, here we go. And that nearly defeats it. Here comes a slash attack. And that becomes a critical hit. Thankfully, we don't get defeated by this guy right here. So let's go right ahead, finish it off. It's a psychic attack. And here we go. And just like that, Kabuti has been defeated. We kicked its booty. Okay, alrighty, so that's four in a row. I have a really bad feeling about next episode, guys. <laughs> oh, man. Because, again, I tried the Pika Cup, and it, it, it didn't get easier from there. The last four will be the hardest, so... I gotta, I gotta gain my <laughs> composure in all this right here, guys. So, this has been our first episode of our Pokemon Stadium walkthrough. The Pokeball series right here. Um, in the next episode, we're going to be finishing up the last four, and yeah, this will hopefully be a normal occurrence every weekend. That way you guys can have something to look forward to. Other than that, thank you guys again for watching. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, the heart button's right there. Whatever. I will see you guys in the next episode as we play Pokemon Stadium. See you guys.